welcome once again to my channel english conspectors as your examinations are approaching so i thought of making a video on reported speech so students reported speech is also known by the name direct and indirect speech so don't get confused okay so direct speech what is direct speech when we report to the exact words of the speaker and write them within the inverted commas okay remember inverted commas example you can take neha said roger federer has won the match against rafael nadal okay so neha said so it means that we are quoting the exact words what neha said she said that roger federer has won the match against rafael nadal okay so this is considered under the direct speech now moving towards what is indirect speech when the meaning of the speech is conveyed in the reporter's word it is called indirect speech like gogi said that she enjoyed watching the movie avatar so here we are just talking these are the words what gogi said okay so these words are the uh, when we are just conveying what the reporter is saying okay so that is known as indirect speech in indirect speech you have to only remember that it is the word of the reporter like who is reporting anything if anything happens in your home like you and your brother are um, just uh, quarreling over some matter so that when you will be reporting when you will give giving that report to your mother like you will say that my brother said mama my br brother said that he will not um drink his milk shake okay so it means that you are reporting something so this will be considered as indirect speech next is reported speech so reported speech it means that whatever we are reading so when the exact words of the speaker are reproduced the entire speech is put within inverted commas and this is called as reported speech now is what is reported verb so here in this example you will see that neha said okay so neha said it means that there is a verb some action is being done so the verb said which introduced a reported speech is called reporting verb so this uh, the whole thing is divided into two part so the first one neha said this is known as reported verb and roger federer has won the match against rafael nadal this one is reported speech i hope that this much is clear moving forward yeah so uh, in order to change this there are six points that you have to remember first one is identification of type of sentence next is change in reporting verb third one is remove of comma inverted commas and then add conjunction like um that okay or ordered or anything change in pronoun next is change in tenses and the last one is change in spatial words so one by one we will see and then also we'll try to apply and see that how these six points used to help us in order to solve the questions or convert direct into indirect now first thing is identification of types of sentence so before this as i used to always ask you in your class what are the types of sentences so you should know what are the other types of sentences like exclamatory interrogative imperative okay so uh, these are assertive okay these are the sentences where um that we have to identify before converting direct into indirect okay only one thing here you have to keep in mind if it is assertive or imperative then the things will come as it is but if it is interrogative interrogative means question mark wherever you will get question mark so that time you have to keep it in mind now what are those things that you have to keep in mind like this one yeah interrogative so when we talk about the interrogative okay if it is a interrogative sentence so we know that there are uh, interrogative is divided into two part what are they first one is yes or no type of questions and the second one is wh type of questions wh type of questions are any such kind of question if i say that what are you doing are you uh, what are you doing or uh, what is your name okay so these are it means that the the answer you cannot give in yes or no if i say that what is your name you can't say that yes but yes or no type of those yes or no type of questions are those questions like they are basically made up of modal verbs or helping verb helping verb what comes under the helping verb be form of the verb where is am are was were and um, had uh, have has or um, do form of the verb do did does and modal verbs can were may might could shall should okay if you by using all these words if you are going to frame question like if i say that um is it raining outside so you may say that yes or you may say that no 
if i say that um, are all students present in the class okay so that time also you can say that yes or no so it means that whenever we frame any question using modal verbs like can could may might shall should or helping verb using be form of the verb is am um, are was were had have has or do form of the verb do does did so that time they are known as yes or no type of question mostly okay so now if it is yes or no type of question so that time what do you have to use you have to use if or whether okay and that also changes like um, the reporting verb or the conjunction there you will put inquired or asked okay this thing you have to keep in mind now just take one example so that it will be clear okay yes example is given here yeah and if it is wh type of question like when where why so there will be no change so this will be more clear to you when you take it with the example like i said to my sister where is my book so you have found that uh, first of all what you have to find you have to find that what uh, what kind of sentence it is so you got to know that it is a interrogative because question mark is also coming and some question is asked so where is my book so the reply will be okay my book is okay sorry your book is um in my bag or it is not with me anything okay so it means that this is not yes or no type of question so that's why there will be no change so it will said to will directly change into asked my sister will come as as it is this inverted comma and this will be removed my sister uh, i ask my sister where my book was okay and this thing it means that the tense also changes one by one we will take it now note down the second example if where you will use if or whether suppose if i give you the example um, if i give you the example he said to his sister note down he said to his sister comma then in inverted comma you can write that can you sing like a professional singer okay then inverted comma is closed so he said to his sister can you sing like a professional singer so what will be the changes first of all we have to find that uh, whether it is a interrogative sentence or not yes it is a interrogative sentence because the question is asked that can you sing like a professional singer don't forget to put the question mark at the end so now how it will be turned he asked because set to will be changed into what he asked his sister there is a can you sing like a professional singer so the answer may come yet like yes or it may come like no so we came to know that this is yes or no type of question so what we will do he asked his sister whether she could sing like a professional singer is it clear yes i hope that it is clear if it is not clear kindly re, um go back and just watch this video again from where it is not clear yeah now the first one we have covered now change in reporting verb already it was said that what are reporting verbs anything that said to say okay these are known as reporting verbs so what how what are the changes that we have to make in reporting verb so reporting verb you will find always in two terms first one is present and the second one is past say says if it is say says then there will be no change and in past what is the past of say says it is said so if it is said then also there will be no change but if you have to remember this to t symbol okay wherever t is there so that time there you have to just make uh, the reported verb will change like if it is says to or say to then says to will become tells and say to will become uh, this crossed okay say to will become tell and if it is said to it will become told okay this thing you have to keep in your mind many time what happen uh, like two is hidden like um uh, example will be he say to her he says to her um and again in inverted comma you can write that close the window okay so that time it is not necessary that you will uh, there will be two he says to her he say he says her if it would it would would be he says her so that time also you can just put tells okay so no need that uh, it must be understood like to whom we are saying that particular word now next one is pronoun okay remove of comma or inverted comma and add conjunction so conjunctions i have told you that okay wherever this inverted comma or comma are there you will be removing that and you will be adding that or you may uh, add asked or you may uh, add inquired okay according to the type of sentences next is change in pronoun 
so when we talk so before changing pronoun you must know that what are pronouns so what are the pronouns any yes word that is used in place of a noun is known as pronoun like he she it they i okay so here uh in pronoun also you have to remember three things that first person pronoun second person pronoun and third person what is first person the speaker like i if i speak something so i we okay on the plural of first person is we then second person is you and the plural is you third person is he she it okay and the plural is they so one formula you have to remember s o n son okay s o n son you will write that subject s of subject o of object and n of no change so if it is subject right what will what you will uh, like if it is in first person so it will change according to the subject if it is second person it will change according to the object and if it is third person there will be no change okay so this you can just take with your example like um, if i say that um let us take the example of uh, third person first she said she said okay write down if i write here she hmm she said she said comma then in inverted comma she said he likes gani momos okay if this is the word so how you will change this she said he likes afghani momos so what you have to find he what is he he you will find that he is a third person in this he she it they okay because we have to just focus on pronoun so what will come there is will be no change so while writing the answer it will be she said that he will remain as it is he likes afghani momos okay in this manner you will have to write it i hope it is clear to you yes now moving forward uh now let us take the example of the second form second uh, second person what comes you if i say that uh, he said he said to her he said to her comma again in inverted comma you are a beautiful girl you are a beautiful girl okay if this is there he said to her you are a beautiful girl so what you have to see first of all the first what was the first rule you have to find that what kind of sentence it is so there this is not an interrogative sentence if it is an interrogative sentence then we have to find that whether it is a yes or no type of question or wh the second thing was you have to see the reported verb so what is the reported verb said to we know that if it is said to told will come okay told will come this is quite understood he said to her it means that this is uh, whatever the speaker is saying so again some listener is also there he said to her so t is there said past tense we know that the past tense will be told now you have to remove this inverted comma and this um yeah inverted comma and the comma and you will have to put one conjunction okay so this is the third point now the fourth point is change in pronoun so what is the pronoun pronoun is you okay this you have to see of the reported uh, speech so pronoun is you and what is you you is the second person so you changes according to to the object the object of what of reported verb he said to her he is subject said to is a verb and her is our object so you will change according to her it means that it will qualify the number and person of her so her is um, we represent any girl so what comes for a girl you are a beautiful girl so here now let us look at the example below he he will come as it is he told said to will change into told he told her 
that u will change into according to the her so uh, when we have to when we have to denote a girl or when we have to say to girl that you are a beautiful what we do we will do we will write that he told her that she was she is a or we can say that um, she is a beautiful girl okay and you will write it he told her that she was a beautiful girl yeah now you have to say you have to tell that why um was is coming because are it is in present tense we know that simple present tense changes into simple past tense okay so always remember whenever you read a direct and indirect so there is a change in tenses also that also we'll see okay that is a different point now moving towards the third example that if we get any example or um, any um pronoun or any sentence you know this case like i we me okay my our so in that case what you will change so because we know that first person changes according to the subject so always remember s o n formula s o n first person means it will change according to the subject second person will change according to the object if it is third person like he she he she it they there will be no changes now this example he says I am hungry I am hungry okay uh i capital hmm he says i am hungry so what is the first thing that you have to note you have to find that whether what type of sentence it is so it is not a interrogative sentence now next is uh, you will have to find that um change in the reporting verb says so we know that if it is says there is no to then it will come as it is says will come as it is now the third point is a uh, change of uh, this comma and inverted comma now the fourth point is change of pronoun okay then uh then comes your tenses in which tense it is then you have to change it according to the tense like if it is simple present you will uh it will become simple past if it is past present continuous it will it will change into past continuous if it is present perfect it will be changed into past perfect if it is present perfect continuous so it will also changes into past perfect continuous and if it is simple past so it will change into past perfect and if it is past continuous it will change into past perfect continuous okay this thing you have to keep in mind and if it is past perfect then there will be no change past perfect continuous then also there will be no change okay in past tense only in two cases uh tenses will change so that also will take a look afterwards but before this yeah we were here he says i am hungry so what will be the answer he says that he says that comma inverted comma will be changed he says that he is okay why i will i will change according to the first person i uh, sorry subject of the reporting verb so i if it is i we are okay uh, so these such pronouns so those pronouns will change according to the subject so he says that i if it is he it means that masculine gender um first person okay so it will change according to this only he says that he is he is hungry so this thing you have to keep in your mind i hope that it is clear now moving towards the last point that is um, change in tenses so change in tenses already informed you that what are the change in tenses yes this one simple present changes into past present continuous past con continuous present perfect past perfect present perfect continuous past perfect continuous now but in past what are the things simple past changes only to the perfect past perfect if it is simple then you have to remember it is perfect past continuous it changes into past perfect continuous okay if it is continuous something happens Pins, so you have to remember it must happen perfectly. Then past perfect, then it will be changed into past perfect only. And if it is past perfect continuous, then 
there is no such kind of changes okay here it is uh, with like it does not change so this one is this thing is not correct okay you have to remove this and past perfect also do not does not change so these two will not change this you have to just um erase when you will be making the notes yeah now change in special words suppose is m r is there so it will become was were was uh, was where is there had been had been is there there will be no change because this are all according to the tenses that we have discussed next is change in some special words so if it is here it will become there this that these those tomorrow the day before uh, sorry the day after the following day today that day yesterday the day before okay two days ago two days before okay these all i have sent you already everything is sent to you ago will be um low now will be then last month the previous month okay hmm. there are various other like if it is last week the previous week okay so these things are there that you have to keep in mind and then after this if you will start doing the exercises then you will be able to do it will be helpful for you okay but the one more thing it will uh, you will only uh, be able to do the things when you just practice a lot so just don't leave practicing just practice as much as you can then only you will be able to understand the concept clearly bye then